Well, um, I had the fortune of being the, the son or the product of a lifetime educator, Alita Ferguson, who um, was my mom who passed away um, on January 29th of 2019 from Alzheimer's and dementia. And um, her story was she was a 40-year educator, um, grew up in, uh, was born in Compton, California, taught school in LA, overseas, um, then in Washington State, Arizona, and then for 19 years with Lincoln Public Schools. And her battle with Alzheimer's, like I said, began 14 years ago with some slight memory loss, um, some cognitive challenges, and with that, kind of the progression um, came to needing some additional assistance, which meant some care um, at a home or a facility, and then ultimately going to a long-term care facility, which was kind Country house. I think the biggest thing is, you know, have hope. You know, and, and they, oftentimes they say hope is believing that tomorrow is going to be better than today. And I think there's so many things um, left for this community to achieve. I mean, the Nebraska's motto is the, the good life. I think we still have individuals that um, are aspiring to get and reach the good life. And so the hope for the community is that we have people that can help support. You know, individuals getting the good life. We have people that are living the good life. I think when you talk about CHE and you talk about giving, um, it's your time, talents, and treasures that you know provides that hope, um, so everybody can get the good life or reach whatever that mountaintop you know might be, and you know for for the city to fulfill whatever its fullest potential might be. I, I was really blessed to have people, you know, in in my circle, in, in my village, so to speak, um, that just supported our journey. What made it a journey, what made it a journey that we were able to go through um, and have some smiles, share some tears, um, be angry sometimes, was, was the people that were involved that selflessly committed their time um, and, and just listened sometimes, just, just really listen. The people at Country House, um, those individuals, I can't say enough about people like Laura Thalen and, and those, the staff that's there, the staff that just did her hair, that would sing to her, that would you know read stories, that would say, you know, man, when I'd walk in, it's like, your mom really likes Motown music. That's relationship building. You took time to get to know her and know that about her when we didn't tell you and listen to her and hear her stories. And the caregiving piece is it becomes a community aspect. It's not just a, so, it, it can't just be done by one individual, especially with something um, like Alzheimer's or, or whether it be cancer or whatever else. It, it really does take, it take a village. And we were fortunate that we had individuals that were part of, you know, became part of our family, became part of our village, the hospice care that, um, Came, in, came into play at the, towards the end of her life. Um, those individuals I, I can't say enough about. The, the caregiving part, though there were times that it was extremely challenging and difficult, um, I never felt like that was something that I had to shoulder alone because of the, the resources and the people within the community that played a, played a part in, in making sure that um, she really did receive care for somebody that was giving.